What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see two examples on how to solve an op-amp circuit and in order to solve an op-amp circuit you have to know these three rules. The first one is no current ever flows into or out of the inputs and the second one is whatever the voltage you have on one input will be on the other input and the third one is if V out is greater than the supply voltage then rule 2 no longer applies. Now let's look at the first circuit. Here we have this 3 voltage right here. The question is what's going to be the voltage across this one, right? And uh, knowing the first rule, first rule says no current ever flows into or out of the inputs. So there's no current going to be in this area, right? Because there's no current going inside. So that, that means since we don't have the current, we are going to have 2 voltage right here and we are going to have 1 voltage right here, right? And now we know that 1 voltage is right here and there's no current in between so this is also going to be one voltage and from the second rule I mean second rule we know that whatever the voltage you have on one input will be on the other input so if this is one voltage this is also going to be one voltage right and also we know that no current ever flows into or out of the inputs so the current here it's going to be zero ampere zero milliampere or zero ampere no current so 0 mean this is also going to be 1 voltage and from this one we can see that if this is 1 voltage the current goes to the ground is going to be 1 milliampere and we know that there is no current coming from the op amp so we have to know that uh, this should be coming from here so we assume this is coming from here so let's say this is 1 milliampere from here and if this is 1 milliampere from here the voltage drop is going to be here we are going to have minus in the left side minus in the left side plus in the right side and this is going to be just one voltage right and if this is one voltage and this is also one voltage here we are going to have two voltages and if this is two voltage we are going to have the current flowing through this one that's going to be two milliampere right 2 milliampere and we know that this is 2 milliampere this is 2 mil 1 milliampere so the total current flow through this one is totally 3 milliampere so 3 milliampere and if this is 3 milliampere flowing to this one we have to have 3 voltage right here so we are going to have minus right here plus right here 3 voltage and uh, since this is 3 voltage here and here we have 2 voltage so the total V out is going to be 3 plus 2 that's going to be 5 voltage right so we are going to have 5 voltage so this is for the first one let's put 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 okay now this is for the first one now second one what we are going to do is we are going to flip the switch to the middle part with the 2 voltage and see what we are going to get again this is 3 voltage and this is 2 the total is 3, this is 2 voltage, this is going to be 1 voltage and since this is connected to 2 voltage here we don't have any current so this is going to be just 2 voltage right here and if this is 2 voltage this is also 2 voltage and there is no current flowing through this one so we know that this is also 2 voltage therefore the current flowing to the ground is going to be 2 milliampere and we know that there is no current coming from this one because this is 0 milliampere because there is no current therefore this 2 milliampere ampere should be coming from here so this is 2 milliampere if this is 2 milliampere the voltage should be minus plus 2, 2 voltage right here and if this is 2 voltage 2 plus 2 we are going to have 4 voltage 4 voltage means this is going to be 4 milliampere going to the ground and if this is 4 milliampere going to the ground and here we have 2 milliampere going to the ground it means totally we have 6 milliampere going toward this one and if this is 6 milliampere this should be minus plus 6 voltage and 6 plus 4 we are going to have totally 10 voltage and that's going to be the voltage out V out here so we are to, it's going to be 6 plus 4 10 voltage and you have to make sure the maximum we can have is 6, 10 so this is possible but if we get more than this we have to use reverse reverse technique since this is equal we don't have this is correct right and also if you want to calculate uh, voltage gain you can use v delta v out 
over delta V in and that's going to be for this one that's going to be 5 voltage over 1 voltage that's going to be just 5 and that's how we solve op-amps circuits. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.